You want to edit well, but you need to pee, the client's waiting, and there's so much bloody competition. It's stressful. With more demand than ever, editors need to turn around projects like... But your first problem is seeing editing as a linear process. To really become efficient, we need to step back a bit. Here's my two necessary approaches to editing quickly. Picture your timeline as a street. Imagine you're a city developer and you want to populate this street with houses, schools, shops, and so on. How would you go about this? I've worked with many editors who decide to start at point A and populate, furnish, decorate, and polish the street one building at a time. It's slow and laborious. In reality, cities develop more evenly, with each individual building taking more time to expand, but overall progression comes at a uniform distribution. The result is the town becomes livable quicker. At first it homes just a few, but we have a clear path between A and B. Remember, streets develop vertically, not horizontally. Editing is just the same. We work in layers. The foundation assembly of raw footage and audio, B-roll and cutaways, the music and sound effects, animations and visual effects, and overlays and adjustment layers. This is important for so many reasons. Firstly, you have a clear idea of your entire edit straight away before wasting time on perfecting those opening five seconds. It also allows you to prioritize. When editing chronologically, you're zoomed in on the micro, chipping away one shot at a time. In turn, it's easy to become hyper-focused and lose track of where you are in the video, and more importantly, how long you've spent working on it. If you're moving from A to B in multiple passes, you grow an understanding of what's going to take time and what's actually needed for the story. So that's tip number one. Move through your timeline in passes, building vertically. But everything I just said is assuming one thing, that you even know what to do. I mean this literally, it's never that straightforward. I used to spend hours staring at my timeline, asking myself, is this funny enough? Does it even tell the story? Do people even care? We all know the feeling, like maybe I don't know what I'm doing after all. But listen, you're putting too much pressure on yourself too late in the process. The solution is to do the editing even before you ever open up your software. After all, editing is writing. Here's tip number two. My first call of action when I receive a script from a client is to annotate the shit out of it. Every sentence. I annotate B-roll ideas, potential story beats, and most usefully, ways of incorporating multiple lines into one asset. You do already know what I'm talking about, but let me explain. When I used to edit one sentence at a time, I had little idea of what's coming next. The result is missed opportunities of using less assets to express larger points. Like in this moment, I could have used two separate setups, but I knew the context for the whole paragraph and I thought using a match cut in only one setup would be more beneficial and more efficient for me. You also now have a comprehensive list of all the B-roll, sound effects, and animations you'll need to source before you even start cutting. If you gather everything you'll need first, you'll be more efficient, naturally. Surgeons don't go shopping for scalpels midway through surgery. This method of visual brainstorming before you even start editing is the best way to speed up your editing, hands down. It might seem that adding another stage to the process will slow you down, but so much of editing is imagination. By eliminating that stop and start, constant thinking ahead in favor of big picture thinking, you'll glide through your timeline like butter. It's also great to just refer to your notes throughout like a constant reminder of how to stay on track. It combines the simplicity of being told exactly what to do with the creative freedom of that person actually being you. And I know, not every video is going to have a script, but that does not mean you can't create one. And not necessarily write down every single line, of course, but a thorough visual of A to B. This can come in chapters, drawings, physical notes. Future Danny here, this is Hayden Hillier Smith's post-it wall for his recent Logan Paul project. He kindly sent me this photo and a breakdown explaining it. This is an excellent example of how the best know to prepare before they tuck in. Okay, back to the video. Anything that lets you visualize your edit before you even start. The main lesson here is to see editing as the paintbrush, not the painting. An artist needs to conceptualize, sketch, experiment, plan, all before any paint even hits the canvas. Believe me, by diving into the paint, as soon as that idea hits you, you're setting yourself up for a slower journey. Be a calculated artist.